Hey guys, welcome to CPC TV. If you notice, we are not in El Paso anymore. A little bit more tropical location. We are in the Dominican Republic. Uh, say hello to my friend Argenis Disla. He's a uh, he works for Casas as well. He's a missionary um, and is born and raised in the Dominican Republic. Uh, me and him are going to do a build this week with uh, Greater uh, what is it? Greater Atlanta, Atlanta. Greater Atlanta Christian School. So we've got two houses going up um, with Las us. Las Guaranas. Las Guaranas. <laughs> um, a place that I built a couple times this summer. And uh, just come along with us and you see what the DR is all about. Hey guys, what's up? We're, uh, we're just driving around, uh, getting ready. Our team shows up a little uh, in a few hours. So we're um, getting our tools. We're getting everything lined up so that we can go do this build. Um, we will be building out um, and staying at a camp that is near a town called Salcedo and building in Las Guaranas, which is um, a little bit further from that. So yeah, we're just prepping, getting ready. Our team shows up later. All right, guys, I'm in the Dominican. We have a special gift for uh, Mr. Krabs here. Go ahead and unfold that. Come on. <laughs> you don't have to put it on right now, but just put it on. Just show us what it Show what it's all about here. <laughs> there we are. Jason Roth is uh, cracking up laughing right now. There we go. There you are. Tika, que paso? Todo bien. Any, any last words? El Jefe Grande? Yeah. So guys, Josh is now the active director of uh, this location in the Dominican. How have your first month, first few months gone as director? Very good. It was, yeah. It's great getting to work with the guys and getting a lot done. And your new father? New father, that's fun too. Don't sleep yeah. very much. You don't sleep very much? Not well. too much. Well, so. it's a, a well-oiled machine down here. It's a well-oiled something. <laughs> Okay guys, we're out scouting sites right now. We're at our Henny's site. It's a little muddy and it's supposed to rain most of the time we're building, um, but we're gonna handle it and uh, have a good time. Got our materials here and, and elsewhere. So um, yeah, this is how we go and scout the site. Um, we do this before the team comes so we know and we're prepared for any um, anything that could go wrong. <laughs> okay guys, it is uh, day number one, concrete day. Um, we just ate breakfast. We're getting ready to load up the trucks and head to the sites. It's going to be a good day. We're getting it done, it's day one. We had a really tough morning. Um, 
getting this muddy uh, platform together. We finally got to um, pour in some concrete after lunch, but uh, it's going good now. We're getting a good rhythm. Great Atlanta Christian School. Um, there's some hard workers and we're having a good time. But I'm sure everybody will be glad when this day is over. Yesterday it was, it was wet, but we got it in. We got, got it in. in. It's solid. We got a nice solid foundation. We're gonna put this house up today. Hey guys, we're on a little bit of a rain break slash lunch break. Um, I'm oh, hanging out with uh, Tim. What, Tim, what's your last name? Hardy. Tim Hardy. He's uh, part of uh, Greater Atlanta Christian School, right? You're yes. the football coach? Or? I am. I'm the He's the football, football coach. coach. All right. Um, tell us a little bit why you would uh, why you guys decided to come here and do this trip. Why would you? What's why is it a good idea to bring a uh, a group of kids down here to build a house? I'd say what an amazing experience to uh, to just help these young people broaden their horizons. Um, first and foremost, to get outside of themselves, uh, to come to the community and use some of our time, energy, and our resources uh, to pour into uh, other people. Um, the the residual takeaway outside of the the main purpose of building a home and providing someone with it, with a, their new house. Um, is the growth point for our students and, and just an unbelievable to be stretched uh, in a new environment, in a new culture, uh, challenging conditions, um, but it's amazing to see uh, how young people respond and I really think in 2018 there aren't too many things that make young people get outside of themselves. There really aren't and, and to be in a community that's about community and gets outside of themselves and, and to get tested and pushed, uh, it's, it's really, really cool. Awesome. Cool. And over here we've got Joe. Joe, what's your last name again? Sando. Sando. You got anything to add to that? No, I thought Coach Hardy did a great job just to see the growth in kids from when you first come to when you leave. Mm -hmm. I think that's incredible how far they come and how much they, they expand their perspective and the appreciation they have for, uh, for what we have back home in the States. So it's, it's an amazing experience just to see that growth and that just makes me really proud of them uh, from the start to the end. Awesome. <laughs> Crank it up, man. All right, all right. Good deal. Thank you. All right, Charlie, tell us a little bit of what do you, what do you like about what's going on so far this, uh, these past two days? We made our way to completing the project, but today we're making the walls. We've, been, we've made great progress, but as it progresses, the, um, it's starting to get wetter, yeah, it's starting to, the weather's starting to get bad again, but we're eating lunch right now, mm -hmm. day two. So and we're about to get back at it. So have you been on this trip before? Did you come last year? Yes, I did. I was I was on the trip okay. last year. Why did, you, why did you want to come back? It was just a great experience. It's really uh, it's really like uh, eye-opening for me to just come here once a year and uh, interact with the kids, interact with the families, and just uh, realize how much you're do how much you're doing and giving back to the community out of like selflessness it just makes me feel much better about myself. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hola, mi amigo. Hola. Hola.
la esperanza. There is something awaiting. Hay una salida. There is one, there's an exit. Cristo Jesús. Jesus Christ. Cristo Jesús. Jesus Christ. You, peace be to your house and peace be to all that you have. La oportunidad de mostrar su amor a esta. I don't have many words because I'm so fulfilled or so overwhelmed with emotion. All my life I've loved her. You just help this family succeed in whatever they're going through and whatever's ahead. In your name we pray. Amen.